Welcome back. And three, two, one. Welcome back, everybody. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of things I put together in the dev build over the last weekend. So here we are. We're sitting on an enrichment arm or something which has a counter rotating top. So if I just stand up and float away, as you can see, using a little bit of the rail rotators and some simple logic, I've ended up with this. And this is simply a button underneath the rail rotator. Then you've got a ship core with a rail dock facing on the down face, the bottom face. And then we have the same thing above it, but this time it spins in the opposite direction, which means that the next one doesn't move, but it is actually the same as the bottom, meaning that the top spins one way and the bottom spins the other way. And obviously if you were to cover it up a little bit, you can do a lot with that kind of effect. So that was the first thing that I did the other night because I really wanted to figure out how to make a hinge. And I got it cracked over here in just five blocks. We'll demonstrate it first so you can take a look. So there's my sign. Rotate right, rotate right. Rot so each time you hit the button, it's going to rotate 90 degrees. If I want it to rotate the other way, I hit the other button. And the way that's done <coughs> is you got your rotator and a knot gate next to it, then a button activating the knot. That'll send it 90 degrees. Uh, then you do the same thing on the entity that docks to that, but this time with an anti-clockwise on top. Uh, I've got a bit of wireless logic to set it off from here, but really that doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. That, that depends how you're setting it up. That's just a means to the end. And then the thing on top will move. So when I turn it left, it, uh, oh, you could see it move. When I turn it left, it's the, uh, the top, the top nut. But when I turn it right, it's the bottom nut. Okay, so by having it turn both ways, but it locks when it's not, you can actually turn it in both directions as many times as you want and it doesn't matter now the hidden wall I wanted to show you has gone a bit derpy since I brought this well, since I upgraded but I had to upgrade because I wanted to look at all the new textures um, what this was is a ship which is the key card to a hidden wall so if I was to activate it it did all line up before. I don't really know what's happened. <laughs> um, I'm using a knot just like over there. So I don't really understand what's happened. The only difference here is I actually built an upside down anti-clockwise above it. So the both docks are actually on the same, uh, are on the mothership. And then the doors are their own entities. It used to line up. I've got a, a video up on Instagram showing it working. But for some reason it's gone a bit wonky. And that is a crazy... I'd love to know how to do that all the time. Because it just looks rough. Anyway. Uh, the next thing I want to show you... Well, next thing I want to show you is over here. Yeah, this this I didn't do anything with. Oh, we'll start this spinning as well. Oop. Whoa. There we go. So, next thing I want to show you is the boom. The Tomino boom. Mark 1. It oh has, my god, oh, it's so amazing. <laughs> it has two controls. I'm going to change it um, so that the buttons do the same thing. Oh, no, I'm not. I'll just show you. So what we're going to do is we're going to travel uh, one, two, uh, 300 meters. So I start this one first, and then I start this one. And now look at it go. So it's going six times normal rail speed. We're not at the end yet. It's still only half extended. Wow. So off we go. And oh, you can nearly see Space Invaders down there. <laughs> oh which, my god. Which I intend to be controlled remotely when it's finished. 
Right, so there we are. And then go back. Ah, the buttons have broken again. Ah, this was fixed the other day. Oh well, bugs back. So anyway, oh, I've got to, I've got to, I've got to use the admin command now. Jump. There's nothing there, really. No. Okay, so I've got to use a chip core then. Off we go. And as you can see, the entities, it's not, uh, anyway. Right. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to zap this. Good old docking beam. There we go. So the rail's going to come back now. It's going to collapse in. And that's pretty much, all, I've already explained it in uh, previous streams and videos, but they're all the same and they're all controlled by wireless. There's one to make them go out and one to make them come back in. And that's it. Uh, there's only a thruster and power on each of them so I could move them into position. And then obviously we've got the carriage. Um, I modified the design for the next thing I'm going to show you. Uh, it's not going to it's not going to work. Look. <laughs> Is it broken? No, it's broken. Not. It's all right. It's still working. It just when it goes a bit far away, I think things get a bit confusing for logic. Right. So then, as you can see here, we've got Shroom Invaders. I haven't finished it, but we've got two buttons here. Start game and reset game. Reset game takes the dock, and there's a fun story behind this dock. Look! Look at my amazing dock. Oh my wow. god. Wow. I call it dockless docking, but I'm sure it'll get patched out, and it must be a bug. Anyway. <clears throat> right, so reset game will draw the whole thing up to the top and if I start the game you get this you get nothing because there's no dock on there anymore yeah I know I knew I'd break it right here we go give us a second I've just got to fix something real quick or try to it might not be fixable so I'll just try it huh so you get in this ship core here oh wow it's yeah it's completely undocked Okay, get in the ship core. Get some grey hull. Put it about there-ish. Maybe not there. Get the rail docker. Oh wait, hang on. This is going to be a trick, isn't it? It's going to start moving the second I... Uh... There we go. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that should work, but I have to make sure I zap it up the rail, otherwise it'll be upside down. Okay. One. There we go. Okay, right, so that's... Oh, God, what did I use? There we go, right, so that's working now. Um, it looks like when uh, you... S yeah, anyway. It's working! Woohoo! So, the Space Invaders, or the Shroom Invaders, are now going to start moving along the classic route that you would expect to see in the old arcade game. I go along to the end, go down, and then come all the way back. The idea is I was going to hide... I was going to hide the track, put the ship with a bigger weapon, obviously, on a separate station directly below it, and uh, then we can control it like this. Let me show you. That's freaking awesome, Tom, by the way. You reckon? Thanks, yeah. Tom. So there we have it. There's my Space Invaders. I'm, I want to make a gamepad that wirelessly controls this. And then you get the correct orientation and you could sit way back over there and play it like a proper little game. But um, So you fire it just by hitting that button there. Off it goes. And then left and right is by doing this. And it moves pretty quick because of, of the rails it's on. So I can uh, hit the button and go back. Oh, I missed. Suck. Go back the other way, go back the other way. The aliens are coming! And you just got to basically shoot them. Oh, I know why it's missing now. It's because I had to make it dock shorter, didn't I? By like one block or something. <laughs> you knew! I lost a block and broke my game! But then... No, all you have to do is raise up the space invaders a bit. Yeah, it's true. That would have been a hit. But yeah, <laughs> that would have been a hit. I'm shaving them now, but yeah. So that is my little Space Invaders mini game. 
Um, hopefully I don't get sued by Atari. And uh, I will definitely be finishing, finishing this off and then making it a station that everyone can download with the wireless controller, which I'll probably style after a um, uh, Super Nintendo. I don't know why. Just seems apt. It's seems funny. like a great way to get sued, you know? Yeah, well, you know, we try. Um, I okay, so that's pretty much, I think everything I had to show you on this but um, just to give you an idea look the space invaders are still running and if when they get to the bottom you haven't killed them all you lose and that means you have to hit the reset button or spawn another group of space invaders um, the fact that they're this far away means that the rails don't take any damage from the missile that's pretty much why it's spaced out as you can see yeah, I've lost a lot of height when uh, because I took, what I did was I took it away. I'll show you what I'm talking about now. This is actually pretty funny. Here it comes. Obviously, when the whole area reloads, it breaks this, but... Yoink! Oh! He's fixed it! He's fixed... Yeah, that was in the latest... That was just fixed then. <laughs> in the last patch, it was still stuck together, you know, when you, uh... <laughs> when you remove the dock. But yeah, here we go. Tom's making stuff up. I'm making it up, guys. Making it up. Yeah. For YouTube views. Yes. Yeah. Huh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. So where's that rail dock? There it is. Put it there. I think that might be far enough out now. Where are we? Uh, uh, T, stick on the rail, dock around one, one, and zap the rail. There we go, it's all good. Jump out, whoa! Jump out, and I know that it's a bit weird not having anything in the air between, but it does mean that you can then build the mothership between it. <clears throat> and it sort of covers all the rails up, I've been testing that out. The idea is to make this look like a big coin up. <laughs> Um, and then remotely control this, like I say. But you can kind of remotely control it from here if you hit it with the core, with the core, uh, with this. Like this. But it'd be a bit difficult. Ah. Yeah, it's direct hit. Go back the other way. Oh no, it's lagging. Yeah! Do you know, it kind of works already. <laughs> But it would be so much easier if you had an actual controller. Go back the other way, you gotta get them. S space invaders. Yeah, uh, I'm sucking now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it, back we go. Get him, get him, get him. Where's. Oh no, it's going down. Back, back. Uh, yes! See, at the moment. It's all attached to one mothership, so technically it can't hurt itself. But the solution for that is just you just put a separate station underneath, and then you dock these rails to it. So this is version one. I wanted to see if it was doable, and it is very doable. So yeah, that'll be something that I'll be releasing soon. So thanks again, and uh, I'll still keep on poking things and see if we can figure anything else out. Um, and as always, see you next time.